Hello everyone, welcome to X and Allies. X and Allies is a 2004 real time strategy game and it's based on the board game X and Allies. It does have a single player campaign, but what we're going to play today is the so called World War II mode, which is a homage to the board game. And we'll start as the Americans, and we have to select one general. I'll just go with Patton because why not? It's not that important because I won't do any real-time battles while playing this mode, so let's get started. Over the past decade, America has borne witness to the spreading violence and oppression in Europe and in Asia. Less than one month ago, that violence was brought to American soil through treachery and dishonor in the Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor. Now, the President has called upon all Americans to join together in the fight against tyranny. Just like our boys manning the planes and ships that will liberate the Pacific, and the soldiers training to storm the strongholds of German tyranny, everyday citizens must man the machines of industry to give them the tools to do it. Remember, the battle for liberty starts at home. So, here we are. As you can see, we have this risk style world map with the so called Big Five United States, UK, Germany, which is red for some reason, Soviet Union, which is brown for some reason, and Japan. And as the Americans, we also control the Chinese. But that's traditionally the case with a board game, at least with most versions. So, as you can see, the uh, United States have very few units, but they have the highest economic potential. So, Eastern United States are worth $20, so that's what we get each round. So, as you can see here, um, this is the money we currently have, this is our income. And the Western United States are worth $18. So, let's not waste any time. Let's buy two more infantry divisions. Infantry is not all that good. Well, obviously, armor's better, and infantry with an air brigade attached is even better. But we need to cover some ground in the beginning because we start with very few units. So I will send infantry division to the Caribbean. As you can see, the Caribbean and all of South America is white. White means that these provinces are neutral, but they can be conquered by any faction, whereas Black provinces like Spain, Switzerland or Turkey, those provinces, they are neutral, but you cannot conquer them at all, ever. So let's send this guy south, this guy west, and let's take over Mexico as well. So yeah, should be good for now. We are probably going to lose central China and the Chinese army here. As you can see, um, there's an immobile army. It works like an like a division, but you can't move it. We're probably going to lose that to Japan during the next round, but that's okay. So let's end our turn. Yeah, Japanese are going to attack Central China. We could fight this as a real-time strategy battle, but that takes a long lot of time. So I'll just use Corporal for all the battles here, and we lose as expected. Germany attacks. The Soviets and they win. So during the next round, they are probably going to attack Russia. The Britons take Scandinavia. They really like to do that. And as you can see, the UK basically removed all its troops from the home islands. That's one of the things you have to do when you play the Americans. You have to defend the UK as well because as soon as one faction conquers two capitals of another faction for the Axis, that's London, Washington, or Moscow, that faction loses. So if the Germans conquer Moscow, which is likely, and conquer the UK as well, the Axis wins. So uh, of course I will remove those guys. So yeah, let's take over Brazil and Venezuela. And let's move this guy to Hawaii and this guy to Samoa. And that's it for this round. Okay. Japanese. 
We take Manchuria. Germans go for Eastern Europe. Russia goes for Belarus, that's risky, and they lose. Soviets, they're pretty weak right now, and the Soviet AI isn't the best. Most of the AIs aren't really all that good. I think it's still a fun mode to play, so let's send these guys to the UK to defend it. And UK took Argentina, which for some reason is almost as large, if not larger, than Brazil, and also includes Chile and Uruguay, I think, so yeah, whatever. It's a simplified world map. So yeah, let's send these guys to the Pacific, because that's where, yeah, that's where they're needed now. And actually, let's take, let's send this guy to Gibraltar. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so the Japanese have taken over Alaska, but they have a mechanized division here, and I won't, I'm unlikely to be able to stop that with just one infantry division. So I'll send these guys here, or this guy here north, and yeah, I think that's all we can do for now. Ooh, Japanese go for Eastern Siberia, they take it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Russia takes back the Ural Mountains. The Ural Mountains, they're actually pretty important. They're worth $10, which is a lot. So, yeah. And let's take back Alaska and let's take back... It doesn't really matter, but let's take back... Actually, let's send these two guys to Alaska, so they're going to get destroyed during the next round. And let's send these guys to Hawaii too. And I'll buy more infantry because I just need to cover ground and the Japanese mostly have infantry. So yeah, we should be good. Mm, yeah, let's try to take over Libya, because why not? End the turn. Yeah. Britain defends Southeast Asia. Every time you lose a battle, the weakest unit gets destroyed. Unless you're encircled and you can't retreat, then all your units get destroyed. So Germany attacks Russia and they win. Hmm. This is bad, not only because Russia is out of the game, but also because um, Russia is worth quite a, quite a lot of money. It's worth yeah, 12 units. And Britain took Egypt too. Thanks for that. So yeah, let's just remain here for now. Actually, Britain took back France on the German coast as well, wow. And Germany is kind of exposed right now. So yeah, now that the Soviets have lost their capital, they no longer generate income and they can no longer build units. So they're not out of the game, but they're unlikely to like recover unless we help them. And the AI is probably going to try and take back Russia during the next turn, but of course they will fail because Germany is way too strong. Yeah. Let's buy a mechanized unit. So, here we go. And... Yeah, Britain is actually doing quite well. So, yeah, let's send these guys to Hawaii. And let's send those four guys to take back the Luton Islands. And we win. Excellent. Japan attacks the Philippines, and they win. It's not good. And Germany goes for your mod, <laughs> and the Soviets go for Russia, and they actually win. <laughs> but they're probably just gonna get destroyed during the next turn by Germany. Wow, Germany, they're really, they're really leaving like Europe wide open. So, yeah, let's buy more infantry. Send it west. Okay, J Japan really wants to have Alaska. They really want to have that. 
Hmm, should I take Eastern Siberia? Or Midway? Um, actually, let's... Um, actually, yeah, let's take Eastern Siberia. Send those two guys here. And these guys... Actually, yeah, I can't send these guys anywhere else. So, yeah. Let's do it like this. End the turn. Hmm, Japan. Actually loses. That's good. Germany goes for Russia again. And they win. Britain goes for Berlin. And they lose. I'll just stay here. Britain's doing really well this time. So... Yeah, let's... Should I take Siberia? No, it's not, it's not worth all that much. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I want to get rid of this unit here, so... Let's send these guys here. North. These guys west. Um, actually, yeah, let's, let's do it like this. And we lose. Yeah. Japan makes some progress, Brit tries to can to conquer Germany and fails. So take back Alaska again. Let's move everybody to the Marshall Islands. Let's move these guys yeah, like this. And I want to buy an armor division. So yeah, there we go. Japan buys more infantry, makes some more progress. Germany goes for Britain and wins. And the UK goes for Berlin ag again and they actually win. Wow. Man, the Axis is doing terrible this round. You know what? Let's just buy a lot of infantry. Send some all west. And yeah, let's retake Eastern Siberia. So, and yeah, let's go for Iwo Jima. And send this guy to his Marshall Islands. Actually, no, I can't, can't do that. Let's send this guy to Eastern Siberia as well. And, and the turn. And we win. Ooh, Japan threatening Australia. Germany tries to take back Germany, but fails. Ooh. So. Mm -hmm. Should we take Manchuria? Yes, let's just do it. Let's take Midway as well. Actually, no, let's secure Eastern Siberia. And let's tank take Midway. And let's send um, these guys west. And buy one more mechanized division. And that's it. And we lose, but that's okay. Okay, Germany is basically controlling almost all of Soviet Union, but none of Europe, of Western Europe. That's kind of funny. Let's, sec let's actually secure Berlin with our one American unit we have here. Or I could attack the German coast, but yeah, it's not really worth it. The Brits can do that. So, instead, we are going to... I hate that. I hate when they do that. So instead, let's retake the Marshall Islands once again. And yeah, let's stay in Eastern Siberia. Hmm. 
And let's actually move to Eastern China. Japan goes after me again. And they win again. Germany goes after Germany and loses. That's That went well. Britain conquers Belarus and secures Berlin. That's good. So yeah, let's go for Central China. Let's take Manchuria as well. And let's go for Iwo Jima once more. Actually, let's send this guy to Iwo Jima as well. So we have some mechanized support. I don't like this build up here. So actually let's send this guy to No, can't send him to Alaska to get. So and let's end the town. And you'll win again. <laughs> they keep winning. Germany reconquers Germany. Britain fails to reconquer Germany. And we're going to buy even more infantry. We can also upgrade units here, but it's not really worth it until you already have a lot of units and don't really have the time to move them all to wherever you need them, so I usually don't do that. So instead, let's just stay here. Or oh, actually, let's go to Southeast Asia to conquer the Dutch East Indies at one point. Hmm. I just should I just go for Japan. I'll just give it a go. Send everybody. To Japan. And we lose. Yeah, that was not all that unlikely. <sighs> Keep losing against this one mechanized division. Doesn't matter. More infantry. So let's take, let's pack back the Luton Islands again. And let's send all of these guys here west. Except for those guys. Let's retake the Philippines. Yeah, let's do it like this. Germany retakes Germany once again. And Britain liberates the Soviet Union. Now they have their capital back. And <laughs> Japan actually managed to conquer Saudi Arabia and Palestine. Wow, that's quite impressive. <laughs> They're currently in East Africa. And that's just a, a random British tank. So. Germany securing Kazakhstan. Good job. So let's take over to Saudi Arabia because it's worth three units. That's, it's not too bad. And let's let's just secure India with it, with this guy. And yeah, let's go for the Dutch East Indies because there was seven units of money. That's quite a lot. This guy goes to Ifejima, these guys go to the Marshall Islands, and these guys go to Eastern Siberia. And we lose. Incredible. Japan is moving west. So let's build a um, mechanized air division. Yeah, let's just remain here. And now Britain took over the Dutch East Indies. Thank you. 
So yeah, let's go for yeah, let's go for Southeast Asia. These guys go to Hawaii. And we lose again. Can't believe it. Germany retakes Berlin. Then Britain retakes Berlin. This must have been like the 20th time Berlin has changed hands. So let's secure Eastern China. And yeah, that's it for now, I think. Wow, now Japan controls Russia. This is insane. But Russia still controls the Euro Mountains. So let's go for Japan once again. In the next round, that is. And let's. I oh, can't buy another armor division, so let's wait another round. And let's end the turn. Ooh, Japan's going for me. Of course they win. Take Western China. And no, I'm not going to attack Palestine. Instead, I'm going to send everybody to Iwo Jima. Japan does some ground, that's good, <laughs> but they control Belarus. Japanese troops control Belarus, yeah. Let's accent allies, ladies and gentlemen. Let's send these guys here and actually Yeah, let's turn this guy into an airborne armor division. Oh armor division with an airborne brigade. It's a little bit expensive, but I can't really afford sending another a unit with an airfield. West, so I'm just going to upgrade this one here. So these guys go west, and these guys can attack eastern China. You know what? I'm going to send absolutely everybody. Finally, Japan loses the battle. And I think... Yeah, Germany's gone. So, if I win a battle here, all these guys will be destroyed. So, I'll, I'll give it a go. So... I have to move everybody manually to central China. I think it's worth it. So, but before we do that, those guys could go to Iwo Jima and. Oh, that's a British unit. And these guys go to the Marshall Islands. And we buy another armor division. So. And Japan wins, yeah. And they go for Manchuria. And they win again. Okay, I'm going to buy some upgrades to 
just to improve my already existing divisions. And I'll try to conquer Japan. Let's send everybody to Japan. These guys too. And these guys. Well, not, not that guy, but these guys here. And we win! We've conquered both Berlin and Tokyo, so this war's over. Victory was steep, its bounty is great. All across the world, bells are ringing out the sweet sound of freedom. Reports of victory parades are coming in from all across the globe, with American GIs receiving a hero's welcome in every village along the way. World War II is finally over! Okay, guys, that was the American campaign. Thanks for watching, and I hope you tune in next time. See you!